Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. Tech goes by many names. Business, fine art, forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. What's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Well, good evening here. Welcome to the Sport One Parkview Ice House as we get set to bring you Warriors Hockey here on the Warriors Broadcast Network. I'm your color commentator, Brandon Porter. With me, as always, Bryce Ryder. And we'll have uh, Tyler on the camera tonight as the Warriors get set to host the Calvin Knights. Yeah, the last time these two met, I mean, they have a, uh, the history is really short with them. And they've had a uh, all wins, but the very last time was this year, clear back in March, and it was an overtime battle. So... Calvin has tasted uh, almost victory, and they've gone through the season and the new year, the second half of the 2021-2022 season, and let's see how they play tonight. This could be a matchup. Uh, I mean, unless you want to stick around and see overtime, it's uh, we'll see what kind of game it ends up being. Well, we'll take a look at the uh, starters for tonight's matchup. First for Calvin. Looks like in goal is going to be number 31, Liam Austin. On defense, number three, Justin Davis. And number 20, Ethan Bach. I'm pretty, I think you went down and talked to the yeah, coaching yeah. staff. Uh, forwards, number 27, Kyle Van Dusen. Number 81, Joshua Ernst. And number 96, Jacob Sabenga. Sabenga, yeah. Sabenga, Sabenga, yeah. Hope we get it right. If we say it wrong, well... He's going to put points up then. Every time we make a mistake, 
they all, yeah, they yeah, light well, it up. Yep. yep. Hey, yeah. We'll learn. Oh, okay. So in that case, on a starting look at the goaltending matchup with Indiana Tech and goaltender number 30, Ty Barnhill. On defense, number four, Alex Potter. And number 24, Cole Barney. Forwards, number 10, Zach Bennett. Number 39, Cam Chabot. And number 77, Matt Krasny. Yeah, well, let's see what happens with Zach Bennett. Boy, he had a game last week, brought in four goals. He was 10 on the season, but, boy, he almost doubled that in last week's effort. So we'll keep an eye out on him in, uh, in this uh, starting lineup tonight. Uh, interesting note here with uh, Calvin's head coach, Mike Petruzma. Uh, definitely a established coach, led the Knights to the finals champ national championship in 2004 with final four appearances in 93, 03, 04, and 06. That's incredible. So it's not that long ago. To some, it may be forever ago, but you know what? He's, uh, he's on his way to trying to do that again here, and let's see how they, they match up tonight against your Indiana Tech Warriors. How sweet the sound is playing in the national anthem, and I say this every time we get to hear it. I want to give thanks to those who've served in this country or who have served and laid their life down, and for all the law enforcement here fighting struggles here as uh, the nation's going through some things. I do want to do a shout out to uh, it's a not a positive one, but a very good friend of mine um, is fighting for his life. He served as a Green Beret during the Vietnam era. Um, and he was involved in the house explosion, if you uh, are familiar with news around here in New Haven, Indiana. So he is uh, he's struggling. So as a family, as a body, let's just keep our thoughts and prayers for those who are, are hurting. And so we want to thank those and honor the, them as we play the national anthem. Thank you. 
All right, well, here we are in Fort Wayne, ready to see some action. We're going to see how well the Indiana Tech Warriors can take on the Calvin University Knights. Like I said, first time they matched up, they uh, they, they uh, played them pretty well and came out pretty uh, pretty well. But and then the second matchup back in March, I think it was, that was a pretty good battle. And uh, Calvin's tasted it, and uh, they've got an experienced coach. But so does Fort Wayne. So let's see what happens here. All right, on puck drop, Calvin picks up early. Action in the uh, neutral zone. Box going to chase this out. Drops it back. Davis will pick up in the corner for the Knights. And saw stuff into the neutral. Man, Newsom's trying to pick it up, and Potter there tries to disrupt it. He's disrupted it twice, and it is out of play. Hit the top of the glass. Must have been a string of net right there. Yeah, you heard it. Definitely hit the glass. I didn't know if it touched the net or not. And as a result, Barney finished his check right there. So, uh, interesting start. Yeah. If there's one person who's going to finish a check, it's going to be Barney. Yeah, he's not going to let leave anything uh, left behind. Backstrom on the face off. Goes against Granquist. But the Warriors come out with it. Oh, it cannot clear it out. Holmberg hit Backstrom on the clear, and it's uh, Calvin hanging on to it now. And now here come... The Warriors up ice. Holmberg throws it back to low. Low coming in. He's in. He puts, try to feed the slot, but it's going to be kept in by Carruthers. Carruthers with the now backhands in the corner. Now it's going to be, well, no, it's going to be picked up by Lee with it. Get pinched off. He had nowhere to pass as the defense was still trying to set. Now Calvin will pick it up in the corner. Lowe's coming in. There's a challenge. Put body on to slip. Got the puck. Burp loose. Lee on the keep. He's kept it in, but it's going to be now picked up by the Knights, and I think they're going to go on a change. Ooh, heavy hit right there at the yeah. penalty box. Yeah, he had, he had his back to the back from there. His back to the play there, so he was just trying to do something with the puck on his change. All right, so here we are. The Knights with it in their zone, trying to get it out. Dugan all over to try to pick the puck up. He's trying to take the from Davis. Now it's going to be picked up in the neutral zone. Campbell with it now. Campbell throws it in. Just left of the target. Now still working along the boards. Now it's picked up. And Dugan will try to pick it up, and it's kept in. Baby kept in. It's up front, but it's going to be Nicky Fork put body on. Couldn't get a hold of the puck, but he tried to pick it up there. Now the puck's dumped in by Makowski, Mark and they're on a change. Barnhill leaves it. Dropping back. Brings in a chase. And the puck is on. It's going to be an ice against the Warriors as they miss Q. They held on to the pass there as they had pressure coming in from the Knights. Fed it up boards and one there. And uh, do a face off with no changes. Fresh legs for the Knights. See what happens here on the face in the tech zone. Ooh, Campbell's off and Barney on. Still rearranging. Now the puck's dropped, picked up by the Knights, but recovered by the Warriors, and here they come. Arnold goes on the change. Now the puck's thrown, stay through behind on bench side. Now drawn out of the air. Plummer with it now, taking a look. Takes a shot up front, and it just sizzles through as Barney picks up. His father had gone down. All right, so Plummer working in the corner. Leads it over to Fada. Fada with it now. Feeds point, but it's going to be tight. And that's Potter. He fires it on target. There's a stop there. I think first real shot of the day. Second effort. Now here come the Knights now. Pick up on the rebound. They go into the center ice, but now it's going to be picked up by Krasny. Krasny dumps it in. Around about it goes, but it's going to be stopped. But Bennett's going to chase it out. Plays stick. Now it's kept in. Potter keeps it in there. Sabang on him. Chabot putting his guy up into the boards. Turns the puck. Loose, and now it's going to be picked up, and it's a race. Booth goes down with Potter. He keeps it. Potter's put pressure on him. Shot and held on. Barnell picks up the shot from point, and he hangs on to it. Yeah, definitely not a high danger chance. Simple shot from the point. No, really, a lot of traffic in front. It's an easy stop for Barnell.
And here we go. Mendoza takes the face off. Oh, and the puck makes its way over to Barnhill. There's a lot of action. The puck was slow, easy stop for him, but we'll take a look at this face off to see how many people stay up or down. And all that sounds like I would count that as even a stop, to be honest, more just <laughs> covering it. Yeah. And here we go. Now cheating the face. Oh, I almost turned the puck. Ali there was going up against Elkins. The puck is off the boards. Low there, going up against Carter. Now back comes Carruthers. Carruthers picks up to Carter. He's talking with the stick. Puck's turned over. Mendoza drops it back. Carter's trying to get it now. Puts body on low. The puck's still on the boards. And it's going to be low. Picks up. Oh, and it's just a back and forth. And here we go now. Carruthers gets the pass in the feed of Holmberg. Holmberg's coming up now. Here he is. He's coming in on the left side along the boards. Comes around. Tries to feed up. Broken up on skates of the Knights, but in comes Granquist. Campbell picks up, feeds it. Oh, and he picks up the goal. He fires it on a keeper. Ali picks it up wide and redirects it in. So four minutes and 15 seconds of the first period. Ali from Campbell. Maybe Holmberg as you carried it in. You know, see here, comes out to the half wall, rolls out to the point, and then it's shot from the point by Campbell just towards at the net. And then it's tipped in right at the side. Yeah. Talk about a goalie laying off. Oh, that's way wide. Puck's dumped around. Campbell will head back. Feeds it around the boards. Picked up Arnold. Arnold's uh, got a hold of it. Fed it in. Coming around. And the Knights will pick up. And they try to round out the corner. But they're met. Dugan there battling along. Oh, it's going to be Barney on the keep on the backhand. Potter's got to come in. He's on the opposite side. Shot. Stick save. Puck's broken up, and it's a foot race, but it's going to be Savenia picks it up. And it's a, wow. Barney picks up as a hobbler in the paint. Barney gathers it back up, draws one in. Out, he outskates as he traps him back behind. Here comes Barney now. He's in the slot. Got through Baxter, and he puts it up front. Nobody went with him. Dugan's going to play his defensive spot until Barney gets in there. Dugan picks up on the glove, and oh, goes a delayed off, so that'll work. It almost got turned over there. Ryard and they're putting the heat on. Thrown back. Potter picks up from Barney, still on goal line. Here goes Friesen. Friesen's opening up and see if the puck gets up to him. And he wanted to, but it was going to be covered. Oh, Potter tried to pick up, and he doesn't get the puck, so well, they thought they were going to call ice, but they didn't. Oh, up front! Oh, he missed on the shot, whiffing on it. It was a, a pickup there from behind the net. Bottom almost got it. Now he's going to chase it out and try to recover it. Lowe's going to keep, hopefully. Nope, nope. It was picked up by the Knights, and going back for others to pick up his one. That of Booth is coming back, put pressure on him. And here they come. Brothers now feeds it. Right in front of the scoring circle, pick up Fata. He's going to go in, takes a shot off the pads. It goes into the corner, picked up by the Warriors. That of Fata. Low reaching to get this time, he keeps it. He gets around Carter's effort. Penalty coming up against the Knights. See if it's on a cross. Now on an interference. Now the Warriors will be on the power play for the first time tonight. Yeah, Plummer drew that one. Davis in the penalty box. Justin Davis from Livonia, Michigan. Was an Ontario Avalanche in the WSHL. And now he's going to be a tenant here in Fort Wayne in the penalty box for two minutes or less. Puck drop's going to be picked up. And it's touched back by Krasny over to Potter. Potter feeds it around the corner, picked up Bennett. Bennett feeding, and Potter's got to come all the way in. And he's battling. He was against two, leaves a couple open then. Potter now picks up, see if he feet. Now he's staying on his side, picked up Chabot. Here comes Chabot. Chabot comes in. Oh, and another effort. Bennett picked up back door, tried to feed it in, but stopped on the pads. Still in control. Chabot picks up from Barney. Back to Barney. Barney with a now. Barney back over to Chabot. Chabot hanging on, feeds far over to Potter. Potter taking a look for the spot. He's going to feed it in, and another effort as Bennett comes slicing across. Chabot tips it back to Barney. Barney riding the blue line. It's off the board. Chabot had to come back and get it. He throws it around. The Knights will pick up 
Maybe, but Bennett is there. Now Barney. And now Potter, Potter looking. He's feeding it. Oh, and it's going to be off the skate. And it's a chance for the Knights to recover as they get a change. Barney feeds it down ice over to Bennett. Bennett with Chabot with him, takes the shot. Out it comes and cleared. Oh, low gets a hold of it. And they say advancing the puck. Interesting. Hmm. So that took a minute one off. So face off just outside of Calvin's defensive zone. That's a pushing and shoving here. Ali shoving around with Ernst. They're still kind of uh, saying hi to each other. Granquist wants a puck drop. He skates or <laughs> starts to push through. Now the puck's dropped. Granquist shoves it in, but it's going to be picked up. Thrown into the neutral zone by the Knights. Low drops it to Carruthers. Carruthers with it now. Gives it to Granquist. Granquist picks up, throws it back to Carruthers. Carruthers has got to regather up as Ernst putting pressure on. Granquist with it now. Holmberg. Lowe comes back and he was going to cheat up and now he's back into his spot and they're being they're struggling there they go so here they come struggling with a one man chase of uh, or a pinch in their backs from Lowe with it now feeds opposite corner and it's tied up held on to the boards but I had he had tried this Granquist feeding over to Holmberg Holmberg with it now wants to go to Carruthers but he's going to feed over to Lowe Lowe's way in he feeds it. Oh, Ali couldn't pick it up. Got a piece of it. It was almost behind him now. Kept in by Carruthers. Had to pick it up as it rolled over the stick. Now here we go. Low with it now. Feeds Carruthers. His partner. Taking a look. Feeding up. Now we're back to full strength. Picked up Holmberg. Holmberg comes over to Carruthers with a one-timer. And it was broken up by Carter. So they pick up the puck as it spun. Here they come now. Murkowski can shove it off the play. But he's going to work in the corner. Pick it up. Takes a shot. And it's in the slot. But tipped out. Good defensive effort by Ali. It was... Going to be an open effort there by the Knights. Ali picks up. Got Arnold going up. Arnold's going to chase this in. Change for the Warriors. Picked up. Almost mishandled there by Austin. Now it's a race. His family comes back. Feeds over to Campbell. Campbell picks up and he throws up to Arnold. Arnold gets shoved off by Shigelski. And now it's a race for Dugan. As he goes against. Dugan picks up on a high stick, so he lets it go. All right, so here we are, face off just outside of the Knights D zone. Camel picks up, fires it just right of the net. Checked off the play. Arnold disposes of his guy. That of Hytritis. Pucks him loose behind the net. Everyone's back there except the 2D and one. The center for turnover. Picked up Nicky Fork. He's looking. He's got Dugan back with him. And now it's going to be picked up by the Knights. And here they go looking for the far side. Ernst has gone wide as the puck is put into the zone. Oh, what a hit. Tied up that. Now it's picked up by the Knights. And they got the slot play wide open here. Booth is there. Booth go, he gets through his feet. Now over to Davis. Davis takes a look. Comes off the boards. Chance for. Oh, it's up front. And it's now behind and trying to shove it in. Puck's going to be fed back up to Davis. Davis feeds it into the corner. Uh, around it goes. Picked up by Ernst. Ernst may look point. See, so drops it back. He's got help trying to do something early in the slot. Nobody was there. Nicky Fork now picks up. Taking a look. He dumps it in. Change. For the Warriors, shot on target, and it's held by Austin. Well, down the 9.49 left here in the first, and it's one nothing Warriors off the goal from Ali. Faceoffs down inside the Calvin zone, far side. All right. We got the fans back here. I was noticing that. Knight's trying to pick up and dispose of Booth working. And now it's going to be picked up Barney. Barney picks up. Oh, it's a flopper, but it's going to be picked up by Potter. Oh, into the feet of Friesen here. He gets put off the play. Potter's going to chase this out. It's Riordan goes down. Out of the reach. 
And Plummer now picks up. He's double teamed. He gets it in, though. Well, it's sat on the blue line. Otto now working. It's going to be picked up in the corner. Now picked up Friesen. Friesen looking back. Gets around. Plummer there on the reach trying to get it. The puck's going to be kept in with a shot, but it's a keeper. He goes into the corner. That of Potter. Barney with. Feeds it in. Potter working the stick first. Now it's going to be picked up Plummer. Plummer with it. He's got He's fed it up front as he went down. Nobody was there, so now picked up by the Knights. Knights trying to get in. Picked up Potter. He feeds it to Bennett. Bennett's on. Looks like he might have had a little momentum there. Barney picks up. Taking a look, sees it. Goes, oh, he was, I think he was trying to feed Krasny, but he hit the feet of Bennett. Lowe keeps it in. Barney goes on to change. Lowe keeps it oh, off a skate, keeps it alive in the zone. Off the glass, it's picked up. Chabot coming in with a head of steam, takes a shot. Out it comes, now picked up by Krasny. Krasny working in the corner, see if he feeds Lowe, and he does. Lowe with it, Lowe goes ahead and fire, hits a skate, hits the captain for that of Davis, I believe. Bennett trying to feed, but he had a stick met, so it goes wide. Now the puck's in the corner, kept in by Carruthers. And he's still hanging on to it. Oh, the puck comes in the in the area of Austin. He has to shut it down as Davis comes in. We'll see a faceoff in Calvin's zone. Yeah, hitting intensifying here in the last couple minutes between these two teams. Yeah, it's a it's good first period physical action here. You don't want to see somebody just. You hate the teams that just come out and just. Size up each, and if you don't hit, I don't hit. And it's just not that you want to see anything violent. You just want to see a really good battle and shows the skill of both teams. Ernst picks up, and he is coming in with a shot. Oh, and he picks up the goal. Yeah, went on the pad there. I don't know if it rolled under. He came in kind of unopposed on the right side of the. Nice there. And he comes in right here, takes a shot from just in, just outside the slot. Barnhill got it, most of it, just. Not enough. Not enough. And that's the one you hate the most is when you got it, but it still yeah, and you're, yeah. gets through. And then you're it's, it's looking like for you, it. It's like, are you kidding? Well, Puck uh, Barney gets a hold of it. Booth goes down in the exchange there. Holmberg will keep it. It's a spinner. Feeds far. Gets through Granquist. Now kept in Potter. Potter took the shot high. Austin chased it up. Barney will pick up. Davis now turns over. He flings it. And it's a race now as the heat's coming on. A booth as Potter comes. Throws it up ice. And they say, well, it hit the side. Interesting. It must have hit the snow of the net. And, but nonetheless, this, uh, this line can stay out. Mendoza going against Granquist, picked up by Ali. Now Carter, I believe, lost a stick on that. Now the puck's into the neutral. Oh, uh, I tried to try to get a hold of it. Granquist picks up as Ali goes out on the change. And it looked like Granquist might have thought he was going to stay in, but he changed. Nicky Fork with it, takes a shot. He was in the slot there and fired it over. Crossbar there. Granquist looking, wanted to go over to low, broke up. Another attempt off the pipes, and it's in the paint now. Now it comes around. Now it's picked up. Potter's going to come in and get this one. He's going to hand it on the backhand, and he puts it on target, but it's shut down. Well, by my count, which um, I'm not sure how accurate I will be with the official scores down there, but by my count, it's 4-12 to 12 right now in shots for wow. Tech. But as I said, this is just from what I've been able to see. We don't have the official sc split box like we normally do up this evening. So I don't know how accurate that are in line that's going to be with what the official shots on goal will be. But well, let's hope you're both, both right on target. Because <coughs> it sure shows where the puck's in the zone a lot. An attacking zone for the Warriors. Shot now comes Austin comes way out, tries to tip the puck. Out of play. The Knights with it now. Knights more accurate if they have four shots. Here they come in. Ernst goes off sides. Plus a lot of that came from that power play. And a majority of that power play was 
inside the Calvin zone, and they were able to get a lot of shots. Yeah, on that. that was yeah. Van Dusen comes <clears throat> in. He tries to enter on the left side and was handling the puck and uh, drew Ernst off sides, and here we are. Plummer working through, trying to get through Backstrom. The puck is uh, pushed into the attacking zone, putting a tomahawk on the play, and it's going to be picked up freezing. See what happens here. His father worked to get a hold of it. Potter on the keep. Pucks uh, comes around on the corner on that dump in. Now the puck is sauced clear out, and it's a race. Potter will get back. Booth is not. Uh, oh, the puck stands up, and now out comes Barnhill. Wow, the puck stands up and just rolls. Potter let it go for an easy stop for Barnhill, but that thing about changed its course. Yeah, all those uh, unexpected turns tend to get you. Yeah, Tuscala he... is uh, very <laughs> acute of what happens when you don't read a puck right. If anyone remembers, um, I think it was with the Maple Leafs at the time or the Sharks, uh, Vincent Tuscala of the NHL let one in from the ice. Davis keeps in on feet, feeds it far, picked up Carter. Carter. Wow. Carter at the after the whistle. I'm not even with that. Did I even get out of the zone? So he, uh, Okay, yep, right there. So Mendoza versus Bennett on faceoff just outside of the defensive zone for the Warriors. Bennett tying to Mendoza. Now picked up, now Chabot picks up the pass from Campbell. Chabot going in as Mikowski uh, about turned it over. Chabot trying to feed up front, went off some skates. Knights with it now on goal line, looking to pass up. Here they go, tried to give it, they got over the shoulder of Carter. Campbell goes over his glove as he reached down to pick it up and see if he can play it against Mikowski, and he does. Now it's gonna be picked up and not cleared out. Shot and a save. Barnhill picks up one, feeds it over to his right. Now it's still on goal line. Chabot comes back, and now here they go. Picked up Krasny. Krasny gets through. Throws it back around. Bennett will try to pick up, but now Krasny gets through the feet of Bennett. Chabot tries to get a shot on a spin, and it's an easy stop for Austin. 4.59 remaining in the first. One to one. Well, I can at least guarantee that information will always be right now that we got our score about working again. Yeah. That's going to be the only info I can guarantee tonight. That and the clock. Yeah, clock and scoring, yeah. And period, right? We'll have the period, right? Uh, yeah. Let's hope. Nice to change it up or put it around. Tying it up. Frank was trying to work up against Eotritis, and that's kept in by... Brothers over to low and it's on the spinning off his feet and he feeds it all right on target of Granquist who was there top of the, the crease there. Ernst picks up and he tries to backhand a softy but now it's cleared out by Ali. I try this with it. He may look. He may look. He may look. Takes a shot. It goes wide. It's the the feet of the uh, referees so though keeps it back at goal line. Another shot and a save off the flipper. Ernst tried. A couple of them there. Frankwitz comes all the way in. And another effort just sees, it goes across and nothing on target when an attempt. Best luck for the Knights so far. They're keeping it in. Here we go. Frankwitz feeds up to Holmberg, and he's got a battle because I tried to switch body on. The puck hasn't gone in yet. And now it's going to be picked up Ali. Ali puts it on target, and it's capped by Austin. And Ali's down in pain. See if we can catch what happened there. Oh, look at this a little bit. So Malik Ali goes down. Watch right here in the bottom left. Oh, hold on, I caught it too early. Okay. Oh, it's like I. I'm still trying to get used to this timeout. Yeah. All right, let's try to get time. So I'm still trying to figure out that replay. Right there. I don't oh. know if there was intent there. Oh, or I don't know. Definitely got in contact shoulder to head. And Malik Ali out of Flat Rock, <coughs> Michigan. Used to be a Sioux Eagle. Let's hope that uh, he comes back out here. I just hope okay. we get this face off done. All right, here it is. There we go. 350 pucks drop. 
And Barney couldn't hold on with the glove as he reached down to play it. Barnhill with it, throws it back around. Potter picks up. Into the feet of Dugan. He's got to pick it up. Feeds it soft into Arnold. Arnold's got some room here. He's going in. He's getting shoved all around there, I believe, by Backstrom. Or no, Riordan. Body on, now picked up. Trying to keep it, and that's just got its way out. Backstrom put the heat all over Dugan. And Barney picks up from Potter. Nicky Fork with it now and goes offsides. So we'll change it up here. And see what we have in the 314 mark. Plummer on the face. It's going to be picked up by Campbell. Campbell puts a shot on Carter as they collide there right on the red line. Plummer picks it up as it was loose. Here he goes now trying to sip through. He's got through two, and he tried to get through another, but it was covered by Austin. He was a wrecking ball. He was just coming flying through the slot there and almost had something going, but Austin saw that big truck coming, and he shut it down. Plummer on the face. We'll try it again from the dot. Puck comes around. It's going to be picked up. And Van Dusen there. Now here's the Knights still working. They have possession. Now picked up Ernst on a headache. I thought Campbell was going to body up before playing the puck, but he reached on the stick to keep it being on tape. And now back chasing it out into the corner. Jagielski with it now, taking a look. He's going to go bench side. Carrying in. Feeds over to Ernst. Ernst trying to work something there, but low there. Now picked up. He tries to feed the slot. Now Chabot feeds it over to Bennett. Bennett with it now. Bennett in. Bennett leaves it to go along the boards. He's in the slot. Fed over to Chabot. Picked up and a shot. And a good stop there by Austin. Krasny there. Chabot. Hits Carruthers. Carruthers winds up. And... You never heard it because it went into the glove and it's gone. Now down to 209 now left here in the first. Faceoff was still inside the Calvin zone. And it's going to be far side this time. Yeah, we're just over the two minute mark here in the first. All ones up on the scoreboard. And now it's going to be picked up. Off with it. Oh, he. It just must have caught the edge of the boards at the glass and sailed it up and went out of play on the Knights bench. We'll try it again. I thought he was launching it the way it came off the stick and thought, man, it's going to go through the ceiling. Uh, not sure what they're talking about. We went to the score clock looking at something. Yeah, we're at 156, so it was 2-0. I think. Puck's picked up by the Knights. They feed it down. It goes through the feet of low. Boots going to chase this out, but it's picked up Barnhill. He puts it around the corner. Picked up Holmberg, and it's going to be picked up into the neutral. Riordan picked it up. Almost caught it and kept it in the zone, but his momentum shoved him out. Frank was working. Oh, up front, out of reach, but Lowe's got the reach. He's going to look. He's going to hands it, and it's going to get put in the corner. Holmberg gets put in the corner himself as he was working on the puck. The puck's going to be picked up by the Knights to dispose of. Low keeps it. Now it's everybody trying to pick it up, and they go hand pass, but I don't know who because it looked like it was in both players' mitts. Hmm. So changes here for both with the minute 24. Doza versus Arnold. Arnold wanted to feed it back, to, but it did get its way back to Barney over to Potter. Potter puts it in, in the corner, picked up Dugan on the backhand. Dugan leaves it go over to Arnold, but tied up in the feet. Now it's picked up Davis. Davis with it. He's going to carry it. Gets a pass over, but it gets taken away. Dugan picks up the pass from Potter. He chases it out, throws it back to Arnold. And Arnold gets it. He's going to pick up a call as he's trapped, and they're trying to tie it up. Barnhill's on the bench. 
Now the extra man's on his way. The puck's over to Potter. Potter sneaks in, takes a shot, and he just gets it off to the blocker, maybe. Barney keeps it. Barney still has it. Still working on the delayed penalty for the extra man out. Barney with it, looking. Potter's calling the shot. Picked up Arnold, takes a shot. And it's up into the, oh, it's playable. It went sky high, but not into the netting. An attempt, and it's going to be, no, I thought it was going to be picked up by Jagielski. Oh, and the feet getting the stick tied up. Now, finally, it's picked up in control. Got a hook call. Boy, that took some time there. Mendoza will pick up the hook. Well, I think he is. Yep. So Luis Mendoza out of Newark, California, where the weather is much nicer here. It's 15 degrees in the fork. It's getting down to zero in the overnight. No, I heard negative five. Oh, well, I'm trying to stay positive. In the <laughs> You're trying to be negative. Well, but zero's not positive, I guess. It's zero. I'm sure there's arguments there. Frank was trying to tie up. Now we are 20-some seconds on the power play here. Or in the set first period, but now down to 21.2. They need a new puck. Granquist picks up, drops it back, and then now it's going to be low. He feeds over to Carruthers. Carruthers with it now. Carruthers goes ahead, takes a shot. It's high, and it's kept in by Lowe. Lowe with it. He's feeding the corner, and the uh, oh, Lowe will get it back. He may sneak in. Now he's got, no one's coming back. So picked up, oh, and it's going to be picked up by Carruthers on the keep. In the snow, that may have helped. Grankwis is coming in. That'll do it for the period. They were just getting warmed up, but they still have a minute 30 on the power play coming in the second. Well, like you said, after one, it's 1-1, one, one, a minute 30 power play. When we return, you're watching Warriors Hockey presented by SummitCitySports.com. I'm going to go get my... Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. by many names. Business, fine art, forensic science. Some think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. what's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything.
visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Well, back here at the uh, Sport One Park View Ice House, that commercial didn't loop like I told it to, so uh, here we are. So again, I don't know how uh, in line I'll be with the official stats, but by my count, shots on goal after the first period, seven to 18 in favor of the Warriors. Block shots, three nothing for Calvin. Four penalty minutes for Calvin, none yet for Indiana Tech. Calvin, zero for zero on the power play, as they have yet to have one. And Warriors, 0 for one. They are in the middle of their second attempt. Face-offs, 11-17. Well, like I suspected, this is gonna be a, almost a rematch of last March. Less than a year ago. And uh, it's starting to look like it now, one to one. And uh, pretty evenly matched up, except for the Obviously the shot. So we'll see how that changes here in the second period. So as you said, 1-1. One, one. Warriors still have a power play to work with when we return here with Warriors Hockey. Brought to you by Summit City Sports. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, 
I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union. You're invited. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. I came into PSM my freshman year after volleyball. Just coming here just really improved like mentally and physically. I brought in my strengths. I came in and I learned how to grow as an athlete. I mean, I've gotten stronger, sprint faster, get up higher. My jump has elevated. Working with Tyler, he built up my endurance for everything, whether it's in weights, sprints. All across the board, we just keep working. And I have athlete development at Warsaw High School that I go to. And so I send him my thing every day. And he changes what we do in here to adapt to what we do there. High school volleyball, when you can go up to five sets, being able to out, like, just outwork everybody and still being able to put in that 100% was huge for me. PSM performance definitely helped me mentally. I know I can beat out people. I know I can like, work for what I have. And I know I can like, even go to the next level on the court. Looking at college, I can put on it. I'm like, I'm training at a college level. I mean, I come in here and I watch college athletes train. You have hockey players 
soccer, you look around and you see every type you can. And just being able to see that level, and I know that I can reach that level as well. You gotta work to be the best, and that was just what I wanted to do. I knew that from a young age, I wanted to put in the work. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really it's really. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Back here as we get set for the second period between Calvin and the Warriors. Well, we've got 20 minutes on the ticker. Ready for second period. It'll be a minute 30 on the power play for the Warriors. They set up center ice. Wait, puck drop. Let's see what happens here. It scores one to one. And the puck drop's going to be Davis chasing out. He's got Krasny and Chabot trying to split. Kept in on the dump. Potter with it. Barney back to Potter. He's holding on the blue line there. Off the board. Chabot picks up on this nice fresh ice. Krasny with it. Potter calling the shot. Feeds it over to Bennett. Bennett tips it back to Potter. Potter hangs on to Bennett. Looking for Barney. Far side, but now they switch up. Now Potter picks up. He's in the quarterback spot. Barney's up in near the circle. And now it's picked up Chabot. Potter wanted a one time it. He hangs on. He's going to come in, drops it over to Bennett. Bennett, oh, and it's broken up, and it is picked up by the Knights, and they get rid of it. Van Dussen, I believe, gets a piece of that. Helps his team out and get the change. Chabot there as the puck ended up on box. I think on the feet, put it back into the zone, but now picked up Bennett. Bennett carrying in now. Bennett with it, feeds it over to Chabot. Here comes Chabot's patent and move. He's coming around the world. Here he is. See if he drops the Campbell. He hangs on to it. Now it's the second left. Fed in. Oh, just goes wide. Mickey Fork picked that up from Chabot. Campbell on the keep. And it's going to be picked up by trying to get rid of it. Dugan right there gets it on the feet, hangs on to it. He's still working it, but now it's going to be picked up by the Knights, and they clear it. 15 seconds on the power play. Now the puck is picked up by Barnhill. He throws it down ice. Dugan gets hammered off by Baxter. Matt Baxter's going to pick up the puck here. Maybe not. Campbell there picks it up just around the corner. And here they go. Here it is now, Nicky Fork with it. He's got Arnold with him. Arnold just barely stays on side as he went down. Now the puck is in the corner. Everybody's working on it. And now it's going to be picked up by the Knights. Trying to feed it. Oh, picks it up on the back and turned over. Carruthers puts in. He wanted to chase after it. And here it come the Calvin Knights. They pick up. Kowski feeds it, turns it over to Granquist, Arnold with it now. Here's Arnold, retreats back, feeds it to Granquist. Granquist gets it. Maybe a give and go. Homer, go! He takes a shot, goes off of Austin there. Now trying to get something. No, oh, coming in. Oh, I thought Homer was going to get a piece of this. Not sure what yeah, Tritus was looking for, but he was hanging on to the puck right around the faceoff circle. Now working. Homer gets a piece of it. It's kept in. Now on the back. Ali tried to get a shot going. Now feeding over. Granquist picks up. Low. Homer will maybe slide up and help Low. Low gets a hold of it on the feet, and it's going to be kept in by Granquist, but turned over. Mikowski with it. And he dumps it in and gets a change for the Knights. 
Barnhill leaves it back around. Ali calling the shot, and he's going to have to come up and get it now because Sabanya saw that. He turned it over, fed it in the corner. Lowe has it now on goal line, but he's got some heat. And he's got to reach for it, and it's Ernst there, I think, got a piece of it. Davis there changing it up. Now picked up Carruthers. Carruthers feeding the soft, see if he can get it to Ali. Ali gets spun off the play, but it's picked up. Sabanya. Now it's going to be picked up Jagielski, and now Ali gets it set back to Carruthers. Carruthers feeds it. Oh, and a headache there. Almost Plummer almost got sized up there by Sabanga. And now Jagielski with it. He throws it back. Sabanga with it now. He flops it up. Van Dusen couldn't pick it up there. Potter picks it up, puts it into the neutral. Potter gets tied up, loses his stick against Van Dusen. Penalty coming against the Warriors on a trip. So we'll see the Warriors in the penalty box. So Joey Fada from St. John, Indiana, used to be a Florida Everblades in the USPHL, and he is going to go take a break in the penalty box. See what the Warriors can do on the penalty kill here. Well, Backstrom and Bennett tried to do a draw here and had to wait. Picked up by Barney and he feeds it. And it's almost poked out as Krasny chases around to try to pick up the puck, but it worked. Warriors clear it on target and it comes way out. And now here comes Krasny. He picks up up front. Bennett gets tied up. Booth comes back, tries to get a hold of it. Barney keeps it in, puts, puts a good hit on, delayed offside. It gives enough time for Krasny to come off and on. He puts body on and he's after the puck. And he's still working it. He's being shoved off, but he has got the puck. He's got three guys on him, tying it up on the boards. Now here it goes. Granquist is going to come in. He plays it. Krasny with it. Krasny looking over to Granquist. He gets shoved off the play. And penalty coming against the Knights as Krasny goes into the boards hard. So it was the battle of the 77s there, I believe. Matt Krasny. Came up okay. And going into the penalty box, Michael, I try to say that right out of St. Albert, Alberta. So, a minute 19 left on the Warriors penalty, and two minutes obviously just put on for Calvin. Low tries to keep, but he played. Carruthers comes all the way back and far side to pick up the puck. He's got heat. Low picks up, but it's nice. It's, it's going to be good tie-up body-wise. Now picked up Homer. Good pressure. Very good pressure by the Knights as they're trying to trap it in the zone. Davis picks up now. He feeds over to Elkins. Elkins now picks up the puck. Van Dusen was the chase up, but he will pick up the pass. Davis Carruthers tries to pick up. It's one on one now as Potter goes back with Van Dusen, plays the puck, and dislodges it, gets back. Carruthers working to get a hold of it. Holmberg's going to come back, but it's going to be picked up by the Knights. And it is still a battle as Grank was trying to tie up body, and he does and gives a chance for Potter to pick up. Potter gets tied up. Shot coming and a stop there by Barnhill in the feet of Carruthers. Puck gets on another attempt there. And now it's still four on four action. Elkins takes it back into the neutral. Feeds it over to Ernst. Ernst is going to come in. He's in the slot, taking a look. He's going to take an attempt. He's trying to roll it in. Just leaves it go. Carruthers picks up. And Carruthers now, he gets on the backhand over to Dugan. Dugan's going to take a bouncer, and he goes off sides. But he is triple teamed as Backstrom comes back. Backstrom's feeding it, and it goes through. Ernst is trying to pick it up. Arnold almost got it taken away, but this time Nicky Ford gives it to Dugan. Dugan's trying to slide through. Backstrom gets rid of it. Campbell feeds it over to Arnold. Arnold trying to get his feet going again as he picks it up. Arnold's trying to chase it out. Backstrom's going to put body on to try to tie him up. And it might be, well, it's going to be captained by Campbell. Campbell takes a shot, and Dugan breaks it up. Dugan's still working to get a hold of it. Campbell's going to feed it. Arnold gets it over to Nicky Fork. He's got to keep it in. Fork brings it in, tries to get a shot, but it's blocked. And a tap. Oh, there's some room there. And now picked up on the clear, but Nicky Fork will keep it in. Feeds it around the board. Fata's going to chase this one out. We're back to even strength. Dugan's trying to get a hold of it. Nicky Fork's going to pick it up. Top of the circle. Now it's picked up Davis or Elkins, I believe. Arnold's going to be the keeper if it comes to him. And he does, and he's got some room. Trying to feed it. Defense seized in, but 
Here they come. Barney comes out. Barney's trying to tie his guy. Ties a body well. Picks up the puck, but he goes down. He hops back up, and he's got some help. As back comes Arnold. Arnold with it now. He's feeding a softy to Dugan. Dugan goes over to Barney. Barney's a forward. Now here he comes. He's coming in. He's got Krasny coming in. He shoots and scores! Snuck that one in there on the goaltender. Cole Barney comes in left side. He comes in, and just before he gets to the goal line, he takes a shot and puts one on Austin. And on an even strength goal, he picks one up at 6.54. Yeah, it was a great shot by Varney. He's able to sneak it in. Not sure if he went five foot or short side. Uh, I don't recall. Did you see it on replay? Did you? Nah, it was really fast moving. Yeah, he just. We were all wondering what's going on. Krasny picks it up after faceoff. The Warriors will win that one. His family got a piece of it and fed it. Mikowski getting through. Barnhill gets it on the backhand and it's picked up. So, but not in control yet. Taking a shot. Throws it behind Barnhill, but still, Carter picks up. Tries to give it to Mendoza. Now it's going to be. Krasny picks up, let's see what he does. He's on goal line, and here he comes. He feeds it, there we go. Oh, gets through family, but it's out in the neutral zone. Chabot there putting heat on too. Now it's gonna be picked up Campbell. Campbell alone, back in the defensive zone. Chigelski there, looked like he wanted to put a heat hit on Bennett, but laid off. Now still working. It's gonna be kept in by Lowe, Lowe working. He's around in the corner, goes across. Krasny's gonna get the keeper, took a crazy bounce, feeds point. But loaded up on defense on the left side. It's up front. Now it's going to be picked up. Mikowski there, but Bennett's tying him up. Carter there. Oh, what a hit. But now it's going to be, oh, Mikowski may have something going here. He tried to get on the backhand, but he had to recover. Hangs on to the puck, feeds far side. Change is coming for the Knights. And down, oh, a tip there. So that'll pick up Ali as Reordan is trying to do something there. Ali there, oh, off the skate. Now they tie up, and he's going to get a shot. He picks high corner there, but. Well, a little too high. Brothers on the keep. Ali will chase out, see if he uses low. Oh, he takes a shot across the bow there. Captain Crothers, he winds up, takes a shot off the pads. Low feeds it on the backhand. Picked up Ali. Well, Ali's got to work. Brink wants to come back and pick this up. He's putting it on target. Holmberg wasn't there to pick up yet. Low on the keep, but he can't hang on, and it's going to be three. Oh, well, Backstrom could pick up the guy behind him. So he retreats back in the zone. Holmberg put pressure on. Change is coming for Calvin there. And an offsides is Grankwitz on the wrong side of the line to pick up the puck. Yeah, unfortunate break there for Calvin. They almost had a three on one, two on one, but Baxter unfortunately overskated the pass. And Kicked in the Jets too soon. Face off, Indiana Tech. Dugan picks up, here he goes. Oh, and they go offsides again. Oh, that didn't take long. Looks like we just started this period. It's already half over. Yeah, space off. Warriors come out again. Dugan picks up. He throws a backhander and a weird stop there by Austin. Barney with a wind up and it's tipped up out of play. Austin just taking it easy, hanging out on the net there. Now he's face off stick side. Yeah, you know it's an easy game when the goaltender sits on the net. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see what happens here. Arnold's hands in it through. He goes down. He's trying to feed. It's going to be kept in Barney. Let's see what Barney does. Over to Gibson. Gibson. Gibson feeding it. Off the boards it goes, and it's oh, and it's shut down by Austin. Everybody was following the puck there. Nobody uh Gave a challenge to Austin, and he was grateful to stop that off the boards right to him. Down to 10.39 left here in the second period. The Warriors have regained the lead thanks to the nice goal by Barney. Take Clark trying to pick it up. It was Calvin that picked up the face off there. Booth tried to carry it out, but it's Backstrom there. Tries to draw Dugan, and the puck's dumped around. Boot's going to chase this out as Gibson there, but it's picked up. Oh, Barney on it. Almost Barney there. Barney goes down off a hit. It's up front. 
Good hit. Now it's going to be picked up up front. No, no, no. Oh, up. Gibson will get a hold of this, and he gets it on the backhand. Dugan. Oh, and Dugan. I don't know if he changed it back. So now another chance for the Knights. Let's see if I try this. If it gets back to him. And it does, but he starts to retreat. He tries to come out of the starts come out of the zone, I should say. Gibson picks up now on goal line. He's feeding down ice and fires right. Looked like Itratus was a goalie there, so he just ate that one in the belly. But now Knights are still working to get it here. Hit on Carter from Gibson. Barney comes in. Puck goes behind. Bach with it now. See what he's going to do. He takes a shot, but block shot. There is a Dugan. He never saw where it went. Gibson puts body on, but leaves a player open. So they control, try to get a shot. And a stop there as it comes back out. Now it's going to be Captain Davis going to wind up. And a block shot there by Dugan. Now a shot goes wide. Barney tying up his guy. Arnold there. Now it's going to be Davis may try it again. See if he feeds far. He's going to well, let's see if it's given go. Taking a shot. Block shot way wide. It's going to be kept in. Picked up by Elkins. Throws it back into the corner. Looks like a power play for the Knights at this point. Barney feeds. He just throws it his guy. Gives it up to Dugan. Dugan puts it in on the backhand. Nicky Fork will chase this out. Changes full change. Coming for nope, for Indiana Tech. Freezing will pick up. Center ice throws it back in. And now Austin starts to put it up. And Dustin comes in there. And now it's going to be picked up by Plummer. He gets on side but dumps the puck. Freezing came out. Davis will pick up. Fata coming. Drops it back to Van Dusen. Van Dusen, oh, well, like a bowling ball come rolling in as Plummer lost an edge. And now the puck center ice. Now Savanga with it, working. And it's just tipped out and it offsides as Van Dusen picked it up, tried to keep it in, but didn't get there in time. Yeah, it's definitely a good game. Nice and uh, close right now. Good back and forth action for both teams. Chances for both teams. Yeah, it's uh, that's good to see. We've seen some games uh, where uh, one team's just dominating another, and it's good to see good iron sharp and iron hockey here. So Chabot picks up a good pass from low. Down he goes. Loses a stick as I tried to, but the puck is thrown back for an. Well, no, it's on targets and no ice. Picked up Barnhill, gives it to Crothers. Booth on the pressure here. Coming in for help there. Jordan there now. It's going to be picked up. Bennett picks up the pass from Krasny. Takes a shot, but it's tipped by Backstrom, so not anywhere on target. Here's the Knights now trying to get something. Oh, the pass looked like it was going to go to Booth. Oh, and Crothers put up a hit, but Booth just got out of the way. Otherwise, he'd have been blasted. Still working all along the boards here. Puck's tied up. 7.36 remaining. And it's going to be kept in. Off a skate, foot, something there. Off the effort of Elk. Chabot with now. He's got Bennett with him. Chabot coming. Let's see, he's going to go skate around. I think he wanted to feed up the point. The puck's got tied up. He's getting bodied up. Now it's still in the corner up front, and it's going to be Krasny. Feeds back to Fammy. Fammy feeds far side over to Campbell. Campbell with a wrister, and it's shot down by Austin. You know, Austin only strong right now, facing a bit of a workload. As I said, at least by my count, he's at 26 shots against, hmm. 24 saves. Wow. Yeah, he's starting. I think he's warming up there. All right, face off. Give that one to the Warriors. 12. Homer tried to get something there. The puck was just uh, going back or uh, just banging its way through. And Dustin puts it in. He's going to try to pick it up in the corner. Campbell, though, beats him to the action. And the puck was at arst. Oh, Chigelski there. And the puck's lifted in the glove, in and out. Looked like it was going to be held there by Barnhill, but it went out of the mitt. Frank was working and reaching back to shut down anything as Barnhill hit the Looked reset like, button there. Looked like the fourth block shot this period for the Warriors right there. About two or three of them belong to... Um, uh, hold on, we got the Gibson alone. Wow. Had to remember who it was. Yeah. Face off and in the Indiana Tech Warriors zone. It is down, nice pass picked up. Now here comes Granquist. he picked that up from Ali. The puck gets taken away. Oh, and ahead almost 
was successful, but Sabanga feeds it over. Taking a look, takes a shot and goes wide, but they recover. The Knights with it, working in the corner, but turned over. It's still trying to work it out. Ali, and now it's going to be into the stick of Holmberg, but broken up by Davis. Now picked up Anderson. Oh, he turns it over to Holmberg. Holmberg says, I'll give you the A if I can get this thing going here. Holmberg hanging on to it. Here comes Holmberg now on the backhand. He always trying to feed it up. It was red by Austin as he held the pipes there. And oh, Barney thought it was going to be turned over, but he picks up the puck into the neutral to Potter. Potter with it, throws it in, but Arnold gets a piece of it and goes on target. And Austin will shut it down. We'll be facing off on his glove side in the Knights' defensive zone. Down to 551 left here in this second period. It's still two to one right now. Faceoff is inside the Calvin zone near side. Looks like it'll be Arnold to the draw for the Warriors. Yeah, see what he does. He drop, gets it back to Barney. And Barney didn't take a quick. He hang, held on to it. Oh, he feeds up. And the Knights will turn this over. Here they come. He'll try this with it now. See where he goes. Turned over. Nicky Fork, and he's got a lane in. Here he goes. Drops it over to Dugan. Dugan drops Arnold. Arnold takes a look. Oh. Waited too long. Either feed it through the middle on the back door. Yeah, Austin came Might need right to get up. that shot off a little quicker. Austin came out like he was stringed onto that, <laughs> that play. One fourth of the period left here. Arnold on the draw. See if they can be more successful on this from the same spot. Picked up Davis. He goes to Claire. And an easy pickup for Barney, and he misfires. And now it's going to be picked up into the neutral by Potter. He takes a whack on the backhand. Mikowski there couldn't get there in time. Mendoza goes down after Potter just hung out there after he picked it up. Hot with it now. Potter feeds along the boards. And it's going to be over to Nicky Fork, and he gets a good pass off to Dugan. But Dugan's sized up by Davis. Now that's picked up back into the Warrior zone. Potter feeds it off board, tried to give it to Dugan, but it's turned over as Mendoza was there and Davis on the pickup. Carter picks up, but it's now turned over by Barney. And he has to hang out. He's double teamed, but <laughs> Carter. And yeah. Barney's going to get the retaliation. Yep, as Carter was down, he gave him a sock in the back. And now we start to see. You didn't see a lot of effort by Austin to skate out. That's a mile away, so he saw the turnover. So Barney will take the Fort Wayne native, take a seat in the penalty box. They're discussing it in the scoring circle here. We'll see if it cross check. Cross check, yep. So the Fort Wayne native used to play for the Wooster Oilers. So there's a discussion still in the scoring circle. We're at 441. Power play coming for the Knights. And it looks like they will be facing off on Barnhill's glove side, is that? I knew Cole just a tiny bit. I mostly knew his brother, uh, Connor. Oh, I remember. I knew Cole a little bit, but me and Connor played a little bit on the same high school team. What did Connor play? What position? Uh, I think he was a forward, if I remember right. Elkins a pick up on the faceoff here. Power play for the Knights. Starting the cycle. Oh, and it sips out. Is the pressure now with Bennett? He feeds over to Crothers. Crothers is going to carry in, passing to Krasny. Oh, and it's broken up. Krasny will come out with the puck, however. Still a man down. The Knights are working to get a hold of it. Krasny there. Now he's going to chase it out. Bennett putting the heat. And the puck is picked up again as the pass was way out in front of Sabenga. Now Van Dusen with it. He throws it around. Sabenga pick up. Ernst on the, well, got one on each side. Got Davis and Ernst. Davis will pick up. Here comes the captain. He's in the slot back. Hands over to Ernst. Ernst on the keep. Has to throw it around. And it's going to be picked up in the corner. Elkins picks up belief from Sabenga. Now, here we go. Van Dusen feeds in the corner. Now they've set up. It's a back and forth. Let's see. No up front, Elkins is going to keep this as it slides through. A minute remaining on the penalty kill for the Warriors. Elkins with it now. 
Oh, look. oh broke. Oh, Holmberg there and a shot. It's loose. Comes out. Barnhill still tied up as Davis is on him, but Lowe is getting rid of him in the shot and the save. As Lowe had to work Davis. But Barnhill followed that one and picked up the puck there. The referee's having a discussion with Barnhill at this point. 44 seconds remaining on the power play for Calvin right now as they have an offensive zone faceoff. And now Backstrom wins it. Oh, well, now it ends up back. Freezing on the chase here. Jagelski will pick this up. Freezing wants to keep it in the zone. Got 30 some seconds. And here come the Knights now. Here they go in. Trying to get something going here. In the corner. They try this with it. See if he feeds Jagelski. It's going to go far over to Reardon if I get it right. Up, oh, down he goes, and it is going to be picked. Oh, can't get it cleared because he threw it into the mess. Now let's see here. Jeske with he's going to. Burning with it. Takes a shot out and comes, and it is covered. Calvin quickly gaining ground in the shot department right now, up to 16 now. Wow. And they got three seconds on their power play for the Knights. Facing off in the Warrior zone. They're going to make the best of it. Well, let's see what happens here. If this is a pickup for Indiana Tech, they can pick up Barney coming out of the box. Either he'll play out a forward and try to score again or do the quick change. If he comes out and plays, he's going to be offensive player, and it's going to be picked up, and it is now clear. Let's see where they go. The box was covered. He changes. Nicky Fork comes out. And skating in, finally with it now, and see where he goes. He's got Arnold, takes a shot, and it's going to be kept in by Campbell. Didn't know he was going to see that that soon. He's holding the line. Now the puck's thrown into the corner. Nicky Fork puts body on first, trying to get something here. We've got a couple of minutes remaining. Oh, and it's going to be picked up Dugan. Dugan feeding back over to Nicky Fork. Nicky Fork there, defense switching in. Or switching sides. Now picked up Arnold. Oh, and it's tipped up off of a stick. Blocked out by... Oh, and the puck's pinched in there. A little tight. Campbell, they're trying to feed Nicky Four. Gives a chance. Mikowski picks up. Now the Knights are in the zone. They've picked up possession. Still working to get it out. And they try to stretch it out, and it's going to be picked up Dugan. Dugan feeds it back. Him and Nicky Four, I guess. Neither one of them got it. Ah, out of the reach of Dugan. And icing as Campbell wanted to make a change. I'll uh, bring it down inside the Warriors zone. It looks like it'll be near side with a minute 49 left here in the second period. Subang so on the faceoff, waiting for Arnold to come. Puck's going to be back into the hands of the Warriors as Carruther backhands it around. Dugan will pick up. Feeds it out. It's turned over. Nicky Fork trying to work the stick, and he does. And out come Dugan will try to pick this up. He goes against Bach, but he ties him up. We need to change, but they are still working. Sabangan with a lot of snow on him, gets the pass off. He gets a hello from Arnold. And now the puck is going to be a, oh, a played it out. I thought he was going to cover, but he sticked it out. Campbell will pick up. That's off there for the Barnhill. Puck is up front again, and it's going to be kept. And with a shot high and around it goes. Elkins on the keeper. He's going to hand it back into the corner. Arnold will pick up. Arnold sees Bennett. She's Nicky Fork down. Bennett goes out. Oh, and another ice. Is, is, uh, Bennett didn't pick up the pass. Yeah, bounced over him in the last second. One minute even. Wow. All right, so the line's been out there forever. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's still the same group. Yeah, they've almost aged out. Let's see what happens here. Face off, going to be picked up by the Knights with a quickie. Shot and save. That one that burped out, that would have been the one that came out of Barnhill and it stayed play. That's the, see Campbell with it now. He feeds far. Arnold picks up, so if he dumps in now, now the changes are coming. Feeds the corner. This will work. Krasny there, and it's going to be Barney. Oh, and he's 
plays, it stays playable. It's still in. That thing just launched straight up. I thought it was going to end up on the tech bench. Davis picks up. Krasny puts body on Booth, comes in, but picked up. Man, oh, he turns it over. Chabot came in. The puck's turned over, picked up. By Potters, he put it in. Holmberg's chasing it out. Ties it. Krasny reaches in. Potter with a quickie in the glove. Held on with 10 seconds remaining in the second period. Krasny is tied up with Booth. They split apart, and both head to the bench. And we'll see what happens here at faceoff in the ninth zone. Calvin on the wrong side on the face off, so they gotta head over to the right side. There we go, on the face, picked up Barney, gets over to Homer. Homer will take something in. Oh, look like Ali was setting up screen, and that will clear it out. And Potter will come back. And the clock will expire before an icing whistle, and that should do it here in the second period. Two to one for the Indiana Tech Warriors. We'll take a break here. You're watching Warriors Hockey presented by Summit City Sports. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. 
Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Back here at the Swart One Park View Ice House, we are in our second intermission now. And the Warriors have jumped up by a goal, thanks to Cole Barney. Shots on goal are now 29-18 for the Warriors. Block shots now tied four beats. Penalty minutes, six for Calvin. Four for the Warriors. Calvin 0 for two on the power play. Warriors 0 for three. Face offs 22-25. It's been a very close game, a very good game. We'll see what the third period will bring us. As Take another break here on Warriors Hockey. This league promotes finding diamonds in the rough. Kids that didn't have an opportunity, they're on the wrong team, they had the wrong coach. If we can find those kids, which we have 20 of them now, that we build a team in 45 days. I look at like the amazing facilities and like the coaching staff, like everything looked perfect for me. It's kind of a no-brainer for me. Here is, I heard was very professional and I had absolutely no idea that it was such a big hockey community. Saw the amazing facilities here and coaching staff. Felt like it was a good fit for me. I noticed my confidence got up. I think the system starts with what you do off the ice, right? And that's been our biggest challenge, right? Is taking these kids from different places in the world, right? And bringing them in and, and trying to establish a culture. And it's been difficult, right? Um, to teach discipline, to teach accountability, to show up on time, right? That's where it all starts. We 
have the resources that frankly other programs don't have and we try to utilize them to the best of our abilities. I mean they they'll help each individual out as, as well as like all team stuff so they, they do a good job um, giving everybody what they need to get better at or what they think they should be working on more. Our schedule is really nice during the week, we get a lot of ice time, time in the gym. Um, all of our all the facilities here are brand new, super nice from the gym to the locker room. The rink is unreal as it is. We work out twice a week here um, and our trainers give us uh, as much of resources as they can to uh, push us and make us better off the ice to help us on the ice too. All of our workouts um, are kind of tailor-made for uh, hockey players. and The coaching staff they help me get better like offensively. Uh, John Solway uh, helped me like work on my stride, my edges. His teaching is uh, is really good. He processes it in a way that uh, makes it easy for us to kind of uh, reciprocate what he's doing in a way that's kind of lower to our level. For them to see the professionalism and the support that they have. I mean, it's second to none. It's remarkable to see, you know, these guys, you know, getting the chance to, you know, talk to the, you know, people in the community and the kids and the opportunity to um, really have that moment to themselves, right? And have that opportunity to essentially, you know, live the day in the life of what it's like to, to play pro hockey, right? I mean, they're around the Fort Wayne Comets, you know, earlier in the year, guys were coming out, you know, and helping the kids. And, and it was remarkable because they get to see what it takes to play at the next level. Right? Not only uh, Josh, but we've got Jerry Moss, who helps with our goaltending, and Paris Duffus, who is a, a familiar name for Fort Wayne fans that really helps our goalies off the ice. And I think gives them the mental um, approach that they need to advance to the next level as we know that's really important with, with goaltending. He preaches accountability. He always makes sure, accountability on and off the ice actually. He, ma he makes sure we're doing the right things off the ice and we're more importantly doing the right things on the ice. Making sure we're you know, always just ready to go, ready to play. Never, never having a, our minds stray throughout a game or a practice, always be just ready to go. We tell these kids all the time, you know, from high school till about college to your junior years, you've got seven to, you know, eight years to work really hard and get your um, life on the right path. Or you can goof off and, you know, not pay attention and, and get involved with the wrong people. And then the rest of your life after that eight years is going to be pretty difficult, right? So trying to get them prepared for the real world is priority number one. There's a lot of hockey players in the world and you're not all going to make the highest team and not get noticed. Or you might become the best hockey player you've ever been at 20. You, you don't know when you're gonna come out of your shell. So they have to have this opportunity to play or they may never be seen. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. 
Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. third period action 20 minutes on the clock last minute instructions on the bench and we're about to see him take center ice here well we still got some players coming out of the locker room for gonna be late here got to get the uh tardy slip yeah so Barnhill just cleaning up the or setting his crease there I don't think that's exactly cleaning it yeah. All right. So, well, well, let's try it again. Plumber on the draw. Goes up against Sabanga. Now picked up Barney. Barney feeds it over to Plumber. Goes in and out of the stick. Picked up. And Dustin goes behind him. Plumber's there. About to keep sitting. Yeah, and they're working to get it in freezing. And he does the stretch to keep it on side. And it is going to be picked up by Ernst. Ernst. There he goes. Tries to go in. Potters shuts him down on stick. Van Dussen picks up, tries to throw it back around. Barney there. Here we go. Feeds the fodder over to Plummer. Plummer with the now sees Barney going in. Flings it up in the corner. Davis there. Barney picks up. Tries to get the puck, but it's going to be picked up by the Knights. Knights with it now on bench side. Chabot picks up, trying to get something here. Barney there. Now picked up low. Low with. Passes it up to Krasny. Krasny will chase this as well as Davis there on goal line on the boards. Pucks both in the feet. And it's going to be low on the reach on the keep. Gets it to Krasny. Krasny hanging on to it. He's got Bennett with him. Throws it back. It's going to be picked up by Chabot. Chabot feeds back to Lowe. See if Lowe looks far, but he puts it on target. Stop the feet. Now it's into the neutral zone. Booth on the chase back with Carruthers. Carruthers picks up. Him and Lowe go at it. Brothers trying to get through, and he splits through. Thought he was going to get hammered there. Now picked up behind. Now oh, Chabot on the backhand. Krasny, second effort. Now the puck is swimming for it as Austin. He's got it shut down. And here's some action here as uh, Bennett is tied up with somebody. Still not letting go. As Chabot was tied up there, I don't know. If Bennett's getting a shove there, but there's a knight down laying down. He's still down there, but he's sitting up, so. Slightly, he's getting up slow. Could be Booth, I believe. Nah, he's just taking a breather. Meanwhile, we're about to face off in the night zone. Always waiting on one to get on the bench. Frank was skating through. Now it's going to be picked up with a shot. I think Arnold tried to feed that in. Campbell's got to chase this back, and he picks it up. Van Dusen and Ernst coming back to try to pick this thing up. Now back, picked up. Here comes the effort. Family. Feeding it on the boards, Ali, it's still kept in. It's still not gotten out. Here's a chance for the Knights if they pick this up. Maybe comes back, picks up, and puts it on the Rides it on the boards. Brankus comes back to try to get it. Ali gets it, and as he goes down, he fires it into the corner on side. Van Dusen can't keep it. Ah, Brankus out of the reach and picked up on a trip call now. Sabenga draws the trip. Trying to play the puck, did a tomahawk. So Indiana Tech finds themselves a man down. 
Malik Ali heads into the penalty box on a trip call. So this will be Calvin's third power play of the game. They are currently 0 for 2. All right, so here we go. Fada versus Backstrom. The puck comes back on an easy pickup. Shkelski picks up. Gives it back to you. Tritus takes a shot and held on by Barnhill. I think Booth was in there trying to pick up anything felt that would have fallen, but defense kept him from picking up anything. I think the defense is so tight there, he couldn't even pick up a cold. All right, fighting back strong again. This time it is a battle and picked up by the Knights. Let's see if they go far. They do over to Jakelski. Jakelski with it. Jakelski looking. Makes a shot. That comes out. Picked up freezing out. He's disposed of. Now it's going to be kept in. Backstrom with it. He goes back to Jagielski, top of the slot here. He takes a shot. It's off the boards. It goes wide. He tried this with it. He picks up again, and it's off. The, oh, and it takes a hop. Jagielski tried to keep it. Briardin with it now. Bada on him. He comes all the way back, hangs on to it. Dave is pinching in. And here they come. Draws on the far side. Nobody there. Brothers does get there finally. Elkins with it now. Elkins looking. The front broken in the feet. A low fed up. And it goes wide. Davis picked up there. Top of the crease there. Elkins with it now. He may even try to sneak in. Pass is broken up. Picked up by... Here we go. Brothers with it now, and he's got a pass over to Krasny. Oh, just out of the reach. Krasny picks up off the board, but he's got to come up. Because here they come now. Now carrying the puck in. Ernst is going to try to pick this up. Falcons on the keep. Low takes it away. Now still working. Ernst trying to get something there, and he's shut down. Low working to get. He's tying his guy, trying to get. Frankless comes in and helps, finally gets it out. And a, full, and a change, except for Frank on the Warrior side. Now they are down to just a few seconds remaining. And now we are back to full strength. Stretching on a stretch pass, way out of reach. Carter couldn't pick that up. Takes down Ali. Now picked up, Bach feeds it far. Side trying to carry in, taking a look and broken up and a nice effort. As Campbell gets a hold of it on the skates of Carter, almost kept in, but out it goes. Holmberg putting the pressure on. Bach picks up now. Ali there trying to get a hold of it. Bach on the backhand passes, now it's put in. Barnhill leaves it. And here come the Warriors now. Holmberg gets through. Mikowski, Holmberg going, Arnold in tow, Nicky Fork far side. Holmberg picks up off the breakup, and it's up front on a backhand, and it's stopped. Now picked up, backhand cleared, but it's kept in. Barney keeps, and we've got Arnold now looking. Arnold, the feed's going in, and it's going to be Dugan, and can he work it out front, and it's loose. And Potter coming up, picks up. Does a soft pass for a give and go, and it got up, and it's into the hands of Arnold. Oh, got him with the windmill. Wow. Good stop there by Austin. All right, his hands up. Fourteen fifty remaining here in the third. Still two to one, facing off in the night zone. Now picked up and in the feed is still the tie up there. But Krasny and Davis, I believe. So Potter picks up back to Barney. Barney feeds it on target. Riordan and Barney go at it, and uh, Puck is was fired onto Austin, and he hangs on. 14-36, two to one is our score. You see it right there on the screen. Defensive change coming for the Warriors is low. And Chabot picks up from the Bennett effort. Shot. On target, out it comes. And it's going to be low. It's got to pick up. It was a bouncer, so he couldn't hang on to it, but he did pick it up into the neutral. But the Knights with it now. 
Baxter will pick up. Krasny's all over him. Down goes Bennett as Davis is feeding it. Carruthers gets it on the intercept. Krasny checks up, go on side. Now picked up Davis. Davis puts it airborne, and it's going to be picked up by Booth, and he shoots it. And it is just launches straight up. Low picks up. And now the puck, Krasny's tying his guy up. Gets Ernst to go in offside. Meanwhile, up front, Bennett with a shot goes wide, and it is out front for the take, and the Knights come in and save the day. And here they come now as Jagielski came in and picked up what Austin couldn't get. Now skating underneath. It's going to be Ali, feeds Bennett. Bennett looking, Bennett off the boards. It's going to be into the defensive zone of the Knights. Ernst tried to pick up the pass there. Van Dussen will get it. He gets checked off the play by Campbell. Grank was there. Campbell picks up the loose puck and gets it out. Now the puck's dumped in off the boards. Family will pick this up. Here we go. Sees Granquist. It's broken up off. I don't know if it went off the skate or what. Ali picked it up. Tried to tune it in. Granquist picks it up, and Ali will pick up. Here he goes. Taking a look. He, oh, a slider to Pucks. Oh, it almost slid under Austin. And now Campbell will draw it out of the air. Can't get much on it, but... Oh, now the puck is going to be put on target. Barnhill with it. He shuts it down as Van Dusen puts the heat on him. So a lot of action here. Yeah. Austin has the uh, rabbit's foot on a couple of those, as, uh, yeah, especially that last one that almost slid under him. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that one had popped out. Defense came in, or at least the center did, and made a play out of it, brought it all the way down. Barney picks up, wraps it off the glass. Dugan's going to try to pick up the bouncer as he goes up against Aotritis. Now it's going to be Van Dussen ties up against Arnold. And now Davis will pick up. Davis changes the direction, but he comes out with a puck. Now it's going to be kept in Barney. Barney working to keep it in, and he goes down, but he feeds it over to Potter with a shot, and it's shut down by Austin. Davis, Davis was tied up with Dugan there on that attempt. Well, we're down to 12.42 left here in the third. Still up by a goal. That one came early on in the second period, 13.06. It was Barney's. Knights come out on the faceoff here. The puck comes around. It's tipped. Barney's got to skate it out. His booth comes back. Barney waits for it. Gives it to Barney. Barney picks up. Booth goes down. Dugan will pick it up as it was almost broken up. He far side pass over to Nicky Fork, drops back to Arnold. Arnold looking, Arnold gets pushed off the play, but Baxter was happy with that and let the puck go. Now, oh, Potter tried to get something, not sure who he hit on that, but he's working, he takes the puck back there in the scoring circle. Now he works hard enough for Arnold to get there. Arnold trying to hands it through, gives it up. Potter with it, takes the shot, and it's shut down by Arnold. Couldn't get it to slide underneath, almost dead. So Liam Austin, the goaltender out of Peterborough, Ontario, used to be an Edson Arrow. He is uh, playing a very good game here. He's starting to warm up, gave up a couple, and he doesn't want to give up any more. He's facing a lot of shots here on faceoffs, back and forth. And now it's going to be picked up, and here they come now, the Knights. Burns picks it up in the boot, and he's trying to hang on as Lowe's all over him. Now it's going to be picked up Carruthers. He's taking a look, see where he goes, feeds it off the boards. Plummer's working to get a hold of it. He loses the check that was put on him almost by. Elkins in there on the reach, trying to get a hold of it, tying up the player, but it gives a chance. Working in the corner. Plummer on the reach, trying to get it. Finally, they're working. Puck's going to come to a halt here, maybe. Now it's finally loose. Friesen drops it back to Lowe. Lowe goes over to Crothers. Crothers feeds it. Oh, Father's going to pick it up as it was shot there. Plummer, oh, Plummer couldn't hang on. Elkins will pick up. Elkins' backhand pass from the Knights, but now picked up Ernst. Broken up low. Now over to Krasny. Krasny picks up. Krasny's going. 
Chabot ties it. Mikowski keeps him back, and it's up front for the tank and pick up the Knights. I'll take it away by Bennett. Krasny has it now, feeding up. Chabot trying to get it going. Broken up on a stick. Bennett with it now. And back to Lowe. Lowe with it hanging on. Lowe's going to sneak in. He gets around. Bennett plays his spot. Lowe still trying to hang on. Krasny tried to pick that up. And no doing. Off the glass. Picked up Crothers over to the far. Lowe now he's got some room. He takes a shot. Block shot. Took down a player. Goes wide on the keeper from Jukelski. He's still nursing that. Carter there. See if it's going to be kept. Put on to the board is Carruthers. Carruthers is doing some shoving here. Meanwhile, here comes Carter. Carter's coming in. He's got help. Oh, the puck comes on a shot in and out. Now, oh, Chabot there couldn't. As Mikowski kept it in. And I thought Bennett was going to get socked by Backstrom, but here they come. Chabot, Bennett going up, brought up. And Ali couldn't get it, and it's turned over, but defense started to come back. So here's Carter. Puck's taken away. Now picked up Ali. He's got a head of steam. He's throwing it in, trying to pick up his own pass. Picked up, he had tried to seize with it. Throws it, now the speed's picked up. Maybe it's tied up with Booth. Booth drops it, and here they go. Taking a look, Reardon, now it's broken up on the foot. Good effort by Campbell. Now it's a race, he tried to stay, try to feed. Ali takes it away. Here comes Ali with Holmberg. Feeds over to Holmberg, Holmberg with it now. And he goes, see if he uses Campbell, he does. Here's Campbell with a shot block, picks up. Off the shin pads, tries to throw it back, or it dies there. Grankus comes in and helps. Campbell back into his spot. Now they're working around the corner. Ali looking for the pass. Holmberg working on it. All tied up by the Knights. And now it's going to be picked up. By Bach and Ali couldn't get a hold of it. It was Ryerton is there, and now here they come. Booth trying to get through. Booth will come in and try, and he tries to feed on the changing Knights. The puck's turned over, Holmberg with it, now back into the zone. Ali there, and Sapanga almost takes it away. He picks up now, and he's got Ernst with him. See what happens here. Ernst is going to drop it to him, and it's broken up. Nicky Fork read it. Still, the Knights now come out with it. Van Dusen with it, taking a look. Broken up. Up front, another shot. It rides up. And now here it is. Nicky Fork's coming up. Change, some change is coming. Puck is up into the safety netting. Because he's tangled up. And they come away okay. I think him and Elkins got tied up there. And Elkins was on the tip of the stick and put it up into the netting as they battle. Down to 820 left here in a very close game. As the teams are still getting their chances, it's just goaltenders holding strong. Yeah, it's exciting to watch. Duggan with an attempt in and out of the pads, and here come the Knights now. Potter sees the puck get top put over him. Barney with it. Feed it over to Dugan. Dugan has it now to the backside of Nicky Fork. He throws it in. It's going to come around, see if Barney can get there against Davis, but he comes back into his spot as Carter comes up. And here they go. Potter with a shot. Comes off the boards. And it is... It's everywhere. So now it's going to be picked up by the Knights. Barney on the keep in the glove. He hangs on. He gets rid of one of Mendoza. He's still got it. Mendoza puts stick on him. Potter comes up. Potter's pinched too. Tries to feed it around. Arnold couldn't hang on. Now it's going to be kept by Arnold. He rode the boards there. Ate it. Oh, and a hit there. As Carter comes in. Almost looked like they about had knee to knee there. As he was looking for the pass, Carter was coming in on the check. Dugan there. He tries to feed where he thought there would be a puck. And it's no doing. Picked up Barnhill. He feeds up to Barney. Barney tips it out wide and puts it in the slot there. But easy taken for Booth. Booth trying to hang on as he goes down. He got lost his balance there. His plumber played stick for some reason. He took down Fada. And now here comes Booth. He's back in the action now. Here he comes. Taking a look. Takes a shot off the blocker. Now here we go. Low feeds up to Friesen. Friesen on the backhand. Flings it up in the corner. Chases it out up against Ditratis. Now Plummer coming in. He goes down, no call, because he just went off an edge. Now picked up and cleared around, but see if Carruthers can get there. Oh, it takes a crazy bounce. Riordan feeds it over. And here comes the puck's dumped in by Booth. He's going on a change. Now picked up low. Backstrom on him, comes in, almost gets the puck away, and here's Low struggling, and it's turned over Ernst. Now back up front, and a block by Bennett. As Backstrom is in there, he gets taken off by Carruthers, but now it's... There's a battle here. Krasny trying to tie up along the boards. The puck comes around, picked up by Lowe. He comes around, Bennett there. And the puck is 
turned over. Zagilski there. Sabanga throws it in the corner. Barnhill's going to play it. And uh, Carruthers will pick up. Carruthers feeds the softy. Backhander Ernst almost turned it over. He was in the shooting range there. Chabot picks up now. Around he comes. He's going to hang on. He feeds back to Campbell. Takes a shot and held on by Austin. 5.52 now left here in the third. Yeah, that's three minutes. It just <clears throat> scooted along. Definitely a physicality once again picking back up. Seemed like it died out for a couple minutes, but it's time's winding down. Calvin needing the goal. They're picking it up again. Face off one by the Warriors. Campbell picks up. Family with it, taking a shot off the pads. Out Krasny's going to chase this out and get a piece of it. Backstrom trying to tie him up. Chabot reaches in. Down goes Krasny. Chabot trying to work. It's Krasny was tied up there. I'm trying to see who that is. Uh, there's a floor in it. 14? Yeah, that'd be Maverick Backstrom. I don't know sure if his stick was caught in there. So we got... Krasny and Baxter both for rough. Yep. So three quarters of the third period is almost in the books. And then we pick up this offsetting. So some four on four, like some good old pond hockey, which we were talking about earlier. I'm going to be playing tomorrow in Northern Indiana, which is a blast. It's going to be Stinking cold, but got to be outdoors sometimes playing hockey. It's great. So here we are inside on the face off. Van Dussen picks up for the Knights. Trying to keep it. He turns over as he feeds it back into the neutral as Greg was had it momentarily. Bach with it now. Bach gets a check there from Barney. The puck gets in. It's a bang in there. Now picked up. Barney waits for a check. The puck never got out. It's still now. It's finally on. Holmberg says, I'll take the puck. You guys check. Holmberg coming in. Takes a shot off the pads. Tried to get the rebound, but goes high and around. Now picked up, thrown back around. Holmberg picks up the bad pass there. And out front it goes, and it's a race now. Let's see who's picked this up. Sabanga comes back. Barney watching for the pass. And he tries to pick up in a shot, and they score, and they tie it up. A four on four. They get rid of Barnhill's bottle on that. Get the top shelf there. Yeah, 450 remaining here. It's a 2 1 1 right now, and uh, he dives out and goes for the shooter, leaving the pass option wide open on that one. So the player there obviously had two ways to go. He could either shoot it or he could pass it. And he elected to shoot. Yeah, that's a position that's, you know, you're taught one way, and I play defense, and that sometimes you're like waiting on it, and you feel that maybe it's best to take the shooter as you come in, and he's not passing and trying to draw you in. It's always the, you know, when you do give up that that pass, and it's just a lot of times it's just it's, it's a last split second decision of what to do. Arnold picks up. Oh, and he's trying to hand it. It's poked out by Davis. Lowe picks it up to keep it. Arnold now still working in the corner to hang on. We're still working on four on four here. Now it's thrown around. Lowe with it. CP feeds fire, and he fires it into the mix. Oh, it takes a crazy bounce off the Zamboni doors. Dugan waits to pass it softly, and it's taken away. Now here's the Knights working, and they go bench side. Dugan comes back to try to get it. It's put back into the Knights zone. <laughs> See if Davis picks up a pass here. Nope. Here they go. So now, trying to scoot it in. Sabinga with it. And it's off of the skate of Bennett. Comes back to him, though. Oh, couldn't hang on. Now Lowe will pick up as the pass was intended to Van Dussen. Now he stretches out to, to Chabot. Chabot, look, it sees Bennett. He puts his brakes on, taking a look, feeds it. Bennett's going to come in and try to get this thing as he's all tied up. As he was tying a Bach, then Bach tied him up. Chabot trying to get a hold of it. And hands it and around. Krasny on the keep. Keeps it in, but the Knights with it. Now it's still kept in working. Krasny on the line. Doesn't get hit. There's Bach tries to come in and shove him out. 
The Knights come out with the puck. Hasn't come out of the zone yet. Still, it is in. Now it's finally into the neutral zone. Picked up via Tritus with it. Now we're just over three minutes remaining on this tight effort. Backstrom touches, so no. Well, it's still ice because he picked up it outside of the red line here. So no change for, for the Knights. Let's see what comes out for... Indiana Tech will be facing off with 3 0 3 remaining in the third in the Knights' defensive zone. Yeah, it's a tie game now, so now the game plan shift. Let's see how both teams will respond as they try to break the deadlock here. Frank was still battling there as the puck is dropped. It's going to be picked up. Well, Bach is tied up with Ali, so here come the Warriors out off that. Credit the win to them. No one got a hold of it. Now. Oh, down goes Frank with some against Bach, he's trying to feed it. It's gonna be kept in Potter's feet, and now it's Holberg firing it, but he hits Grankles in the skate, change direction, Barney's gotta come in, but he retreats. But he didn't know Ali was coming in, Ali's chasing out, picks up the puck, gives it to Barney, Barney lets it go, so he didn't want to trap it in the zone. With a, war, with a uh, Knight in there, Davis could pick up the pass, goes through the heel of the stick, now Ali's gonna intercept, try to get a hold of it against Ernst, kept in by Barney, Barney feed, wants to feed Grankles, Grankles got some room, he takes a shot! Rolls over, now picked up by the Knights, got it through, and now Potter's got to pick this up with no pressure on as it's on Barnhill. He leaves it for Potter. Ernst comes back. Now the puck is thrown around, and it's going to be picked up in the neutral. Sabanga with it. Barney tried to grab it off the glass. Potter with it now. Potter feeding over to Nicky Forrick. Dugan's going to come up and put some heat on. Davis with it. Davis throws it back. To Elkins, Davis with it now. He's going to collect Elkins again, maybe. No, Arnold's putting the heat on him, so now he just sauces it up. It's a bouncer back into the zone, picked up Carruthers. Carruthers is going to do the same, give it up to Dugan. Dugan picks it up, and here we go. Dugan coming in. He's going up against Booth. He splits through, and it's the Knights that tear this over. Booth will get it now, but he's getting shoved off the play, taken down by Arnold, I believe. And now here goes Carruthers and low back as the puck slow back to Barnhill. Barnhill feeds. Over to Carruthers, Backstrom coming in to try to spoil this. And he hangs out on top of the crease. And here's Carruthers with it now. Sees the pass. Oh, it goes into the feet of Dugan. It takes him down. Dugan plays stick up against Degilski. And now here we go. Carruthers picks up, goes over to Low. Low feeds over to Nicky Fork. Goes through, uh, gets rid of the puck off, off the fresh change from the Knights bench. Backstrom with it. Here comes pressure, and he throws it way up, and it's a bouncer on Crothers. He's got to play it fast as Van Dusen was all over him. Prasny feeds it, and it is going to be turned over and picked up by Van Dusen. He puts it back into the defensive zone. And here they go looking. Chabot puts the heat on, picked up Potter. Potter feeds it over to Krasny. Good, nice, soft pass. He's picked up Chabot going up front. A shot! And it comes in and out of the pass with no chance of a rebound from Austin. And now here come the Knights now. Trying to march in there. Potter breaks up the initial. Ernst there picks up Sabang, I believe. Gets tied up off there, and Ernst couldn't get there in time. Potter got it out, and now here it is picked up. Elkins with it now. Here's Elkins. We go look to Bach. Bach picks up. Bach's going to dump in, and it didn't go anywhere. So now it's going to be into the hands of Chabot. He's got a split. Down goes Barney. Now Chabot feeds far into the feet of Bennett. Takes a shot off the pads. Kept on the backhand. Throwing it into the mess. Potter, and that'll do it. We're in a bonus coverage here. We end this period on a tie. Well, I'm pretty sure it'll be a... Uh... Brief one here, so we'll keep this brief. Shots on goal right now, 42-25 for the Warriors. Two block shots were added that period for Calvin, bringing him up to six. Wow. Well, if we thought this flew by pretty fast, I mean, we don't have a curfew clock here, so we'd be under it. So they just wanted to go into bonus coverage, so we stay in the same time frame, I guess. What an effort. I knew this would be a good game. Like I said, the last matchup went into an overtime it was an overtime win, overtime win for, for the Warriors. So we'll see if that's uh will be the same same thing here. Hats off to Coach Petrusma bringing up really good team here for the fans to enjoy. Of course, 
They're on the edge of their seat. See if the Warriors can come through, but if you're watching us and you're rooting for the Knights, they have played a great game. So five minute three on three. Looks like that's what nope, we're doing. Nope, three on three. All right, I think we got it now. All right, we've got some Iron Man hockey about to start here. Grand Chris, Holmberg, and Lowe for the Warriors. Let's see. We've got Sabanga, Elkins, and it looks like Brierden. Now the puck's picked up low. He draws back into the zone. He hangs on. Or Van Dusen, I should say. Van Dusen putting the heat on. Here comes Holmberg. Holmberg's trying to get through Van Dusen. He gets checked off the play. Van Dusen picks up, throws it around. And now it's going to be Lowe's got to retreat back, and it's a two-on-one. And here comes the effort of Van Dusen. Takes a shot, and it goes wide. Grank was the pick up on the clear here. Got caught in the snow momentarily, but he feeds it over. Holmberg with it now. Holmberg looks, takes a shot as Elkins breaks up the stick, and it's an easy stop for Austin. Now that's the joy of three on three. A two on one, one way is missed. So now that pops out into a two on one the other way and it's a save for the goaltender, Austin. Yep, so Liam Austin is, uh, he's fired up here. Face off, Bennett feeds it around. Davis will pick up. Davis with it on goal line looking. He throws it back around. Now it's picked up, Ernst is the Chase up, here we go. Now picked up, Booth with it. Feeds over to Ernst, Ernst trying to get something here. Ernst tried to, it's poked out. Here comes Barney, he got one from left side. He was, he's in the, he's gonna choose slot. Oh, goes over to Bennett. Bennett's got a pick up on goal line, throws it around. Barney picks up as it's off the boards, crazy. Now picked up, goes into the neutral zone. They're gonna hit the reset button. He's back with Chabot, Chabot calling for it. Ernst is gonna pressure Booth with him. Barney now picks up. Ernst goes in on a change, and here we go. So here comes Barney now, feeds over to Chabot. Chabot with it. Chabot's got room to go around the earth like he usually does. And here he goes with a little more speed. Potter changes up. Here comes Chabot. Chabot goes in, broken up off. It's up front, and he gets it. He gets around Austin as he committed out far. Wow. So another overtime. This one at a minute 26 of the fourth period. Yeah, he made a similar move, if I remember right, in the uh, Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference Championship matchup <laughs> last year in an OT game. He just skated around, got to the top, but he shot it earlier there than that one. Yeah, this one he had a head of steam because he didn't have a lot of resistance. But Chabot. So the Indiana Tech Warriors come out victorious in fourth period action. And they did well up against a very tough team in the Calvin University Knights. I thank all of the players who came out in this cold weather to watch this or come out and play this for us. It was great to call tonight. Well. We'll take one quick break here. We'll be back. You're watching Warriors Hockey. Brought to you by Summit City Sports. Want to know the difference between dreaming and doing? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Want to know what it means to be a warrior? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and walk a mile in a warrior's shoes. Tech goes by many names. Business, fine art, forensic science. Some think 
think it's just technical. But really, tech means everything. Scholarships, internships, championships. It's professors who make time for you one-on-one. -on -one. It's putting everything on the line. It can be fierce. It can be fascinating. It can be awesome. Most important, it's believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Because at Indiana Tech, warriors are prepared to lead a significant life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Yeah, pretty much everything. Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. You want to know what's possible at Indiana Tech? Visit Indiana Tech and see what it's like to be a warrior. Well, back here at the Sport Warden Parkview Ice House, we have our final as Cam Chabot ends it in OT. Like a broken record, we can count on him. And once you start seeing <laughs> going through the spin cycle there, you can count on something happening exciting. Well, I think what, maybe two shots? I have to look at my replays here. It's been a little bit. Yeah, just two shots in that OT, and they were both for the Warriors, and the second one went in. Yeah, we thought we were going to see that breakaway <laughs> on a two-on-one there, but the Warriors seized on that right away and kept it, you know, within the in the, the right effort for them to attack in their zone and uh, make something happen there. It was a good team. Calvin Knights, they played very well. And this isn't over. They're going to be playing again tomorrow night now. As I looked on the schedule, I don't see it broadcast. So if you're up in Grand Rapids and you can make it out to the Eagles Eye Center, go up there and go see a game, you know. And for all the fans here in Fort Wayne, you know, it's only going to be cold, so there shouldn't be any weather up there. So drive on up there and root for the, for the away team. And uh, let's see if you can get a good fan base out there and make it exciting. See a good game up there. Yep, so it's a 3-2 overtime win. We thank everybody for tuning in here. This will be brought to you Warriors Hockey. And uh, like I said before, make sure that if you know a loved one out there that may be impaired or at risk of driving out in this cold weather, call them up and tell them to find someone and give them a ride. Be safe wherever you go, anywhere out throughout this world. Just be safe. Call on a loved one, tell them you love them. And we want to see you back here, so everyone take care of yourselves, and we are so glad that you tuned in to watch a great hockey game here in Fort Wayne.